So for a sheet metal project, we're going to make a couple of boxes that are going to go in the bottom of your toolbox here for nails and screws. And uh, I thought, what a great idea, uh, we could make a divider so it doesn't slide back and forth. Instead of doing all the math to see how big the divider needs to be, how long it needs to be, we're going to use our computers to figure that for us and see uh, why it's so nice to design things on the computer. So go to your inspect tab at the top, choose distance, it's like a little digital ruler. I'm going to click on this surface, use shift and your mouse button to move around and click on this surface and that's 7.75. Cool. So I know I need to write down that I have a, a divider that's 7.75 across. And to go from top to bottom, I'm going to have it be a little bit shorter than what this is, but basically it's going to go from the bottom of that to the top of this, and that is three inches. So let's make it two and a half. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to exit out of that, go back to a home view here. I'll make a new part, start a 2D sketch. We already know that my my 1 by 10 is going to be uh, 0.75 thick. So really all I'm doing is I'm, I'm typing in uh, 7.75, tab, 2.5, enter. E for extrude, 0.75 for 3 quarters. Zoom out a little bit. I only want my fillets, and again it's a quarter inch, so 0.25 on the top of this. Hit OK. And we're going to change the color again so it matches all the other stuff to cherry. Save. And we'll call this uh, tray divider. We're not going to stop the video there. Let's jump back into our assembly here go back to a symbol, place, tray divider, open. It's going to go right in there. So I know I want this surface to be touching this one. Apply. And I may have to drag this up a little bit. I'm going to drag it way up here so I can see it. Go to Constrain, and I want to click on the top of this surface for the, the tray, and the bottom of this divider. I heard it click. There it is. Let's say Apply. And I haven't decided how far forward or back this is going to go yet. Um, so, actually I have. I think... If you guys give about 14 inches, so if I say that these two things need to be mated together, and we put about a 14 inch space in between them, that should be big enough for most hammers that you have. If you have a standard claw hammer, uh, we can say apply, and that gives us what our dimensions are going to be for a sheet metal project, which is the next thing you'll be modeling on the computer. Okay, so I think we are looking good, and we are ready for dimensions. So let's put this back into a home view. Let's save it. There's only one new thing that we changed. Um, I think we saved tray divider. We had to have. So we're going to stop the video there, 